Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix lag in Roblox. I'll let you know some bunch of steps that will make your gaming experience very very smooth. Alright, so let's begin. So first things first, we need to do a couple of things to get a boost in the performance. So what you need to do is to right click on the start menu and select device manager. Now once you're on to device manager, you're going to want to go ahead and find system devices. Now once you find that go ahead and click on it and open up all these options right here. And out of all these options you're going to want to look for high precision event timer. Now you're probably going to have this enabled. But if you do you're going to want to try disabling it because this takes up a bunch of your PC and it doesn't really do anything for it. So you're just going to want to go ahead and disable the device. Then just click yes. So doing that will most likely give you a boost in FPS. If it doesn't and it makes it worse then go ahead and turn that back on. But in most cases, it should give you a boost. So go ahead and turn that off. And that is the first step, I want you to do that. You're going to want to go ahead and hit the Windows key and the R key at the same time. And that will open this option run. Now if you can't do that, then go ahead and just search, run in the search bar, and it will show up right there. But once you have this open, you're going to want to go ahead and grab it, and then search for temp. So once you search for temp, go ahead and click OK and it will load it up here. Now once you do that you're going to want to click Control A and that will select everything and you can just go ahead and click delete. As you can see you'll see a couple of them can't be deleted. You can just go ahead and skip and just delete most of the items. A lot of space that's being taken up by files that you don't need to go ahead and do that and that will remove a lot of it. Now you can also do it again with it's the same thing except you put it percent at both ends and click OK. And as you can see, there's a bunch of random stuff here as well. So you're going to want to click Ctrl A and then click Delete. And a lot of them will be deleted again. But some of them can't be. But you just wait for a bit and it'll delete all of them. This is all not important stuff. It shouldn't do anything to your PC. So you can just go ahead and delete it and wait for it to load. And finally, you can do it one more time. Except you put in Perfetch right here. And once you put in Perfetch, you can just click Continue. If you don't have permission. And then you can go ahead and click Ctrl A and Delete. So it'll once again start deleting all of these. So you can skip anything that says it can't be deleted. And then once it loads, it will just say it's complete. So first you're going to want to go over to Control Panel. Now once you're here, you're gonna search for power and head over to power options. And once you're on this page, you're actually going to want to create a custom power plan. So first you're going to want to go to choose what power buttons do. And once you're on this page, you're going to want to click change settings that are currently unavailable. So that's these settings right here. So go ahead and click on it. And then here you're just going to want to turn on fast startup. So this makes it so your PC just stays on 24 seven. You wanna make sure you turn that off. So once you do that, you're gonna want to click save changes and you're gonna be brought back to here. So once here, you're gonna want to click show additional plans. And as you can see here, there's an option right here that's called high performance. So as you can see, there's two options here for preferred plans. But then there's also additional planned high performance. So balance is usually recommended for most PCs. But you can also choose high performance to actually give you that extra boost. It does take more energy, but depending on if you want it, you can go ahead and choose it, and they'll actually give you more FPS. So go ahead and choose one that you think is better. Alright, then you can go ahead and close out of it. Now, once you are here, you're gonna wanna go over and click on gaming. So as you can see, there's a game bar here. And this is like the Xbox game bar usually. But if you're here, then you're actually going to want to turn this off. So this actually takes up a lot of your performance. So you want to make sure that it's turned off so it doesn't do that. Now once you do that, you can also go over to captures. And if it has record in the background while I'm playing a game on, then you want to make sure that it's off because this will impact the quality of your game and your FPS a lot. So make sure that you have it turned off always. 
So just turn that off and then you will be good. You can head over to game mode and you want to make sure that your game mode is turned on. So this optimizes your PC to play games. So that is the third option you can do. You can actually make it work even better by clicking on related settings or graphics settings right underneath related settings right here. And once you click on that, it'll bring to this page here. And then you're going to want to click browse down here. Once you click browse, you want to go to your local disk. Then you want to go over to program files 86. And you want to scroll down to find Roblox right here. And once you find it, you're going to click on versions versions again. Then you want to click Roblox Player Launcher. Go ahead and add this to the actual graphics settings and you can actually optimize this even more to make it even more boosted. So as you can see, if you click options right underneath the app, then you can change this to high performance and that will automatically put it on the highest performance that I can just for that app. So you can go ahead and click save and then that will boost your FPS a lot. Now once you do that, you're going to want to go back to your settings here. You're going to want to search for about your PC. So once you search for about your PC, as you can see, you're going to be brought to this page here. And once you're on this page, you're going to want to look for advanced system settings. So if you have it full screen, it'll be on the right hand side of the screen right here. But if you don't, it should be at the bottom after you scroll down. So go ahead and open that up and it'll open this option right here, system properties. Once you have this open, you're going to want to go ahead and click on settings here. Now, as you can see, it has a bunch of stuff turned on right here. So if you want to make it actually a lot better for a performance, you're going to want to click adjust for best performance. Now, once you click this, it'll just turn off all these ticks right here. So that will actually make it so you have the most FPS but it will make your screen look a bit wonky. So let's say I click apply, I'll just show you what I mean by that. If I move this around, as you can see, it doesn't move the entire thing, it just moves the border. So it actually messes it up and makes it look a bit strange to give you more FPS. So depending on how much you like the visual effects, or if you just want the best performance, you can choose one of these. I personally like it for appearance, I already have a good enough PC, but if you want to go ahead and adjust it for the best performance, you can go ahead and do that now. Once you've done that, there's a couple more things that we can do. So the first thing you can do for the actual Roblox name is to actually download a booster or unlocker. So this makes it so that there's no lock on Roblox. Normally it's locked at 60 FPS, but you can actually make it so it has unlimited FPS. So go ahead and go to this link. I'll put it in the description below. So go ahead and click on it and you'll be brought to this page here. Now once you're on this page, you're going to want to go ahead and copy all this program. It doesn't have any viruses on it. I've tested it myself. But if you think it's sketchy, you can go ahead and skip this step. I promise you, there's nothing in it. This is all really simple programming, but once you do that, you're going to want to minus out of this and go ahead and right click on your PC and then go down to new and then create a new text document. Now once you do that, you're going to want to type in client app settings and then you want to change it from a text file to a .json file. So .json. So it's a client app settings .json. So go ahead and click that will ask you if you want to rename it because it will change the file name extension. Go ahead and click yes. As you can see, it'll change it to this right here. And once you do that, you can go ahead and open it. And once you're on it, make sure it's opened in Notepad. You're gonna want to paste the program that you just copied into this. I want you to do that. You can go ahead and close it. Click Save. Now, once you do that, you're going to want to search for Roblox in your search bar right here. Or just click on the app icon and you want to open file location. Now, once you do that, you're going to want to do it one more time and it'll bring you to this page here. So once you're on this page, so you're going to want to create a new folder. So go ahead and click new folder or just add one in. And once you do that, you're going to want to name it client settings. So once you do that, you're going to want to drag the client app that you just had into here. Once you do that, it will put that in. And now your FPS on Roblox has been unlocked. So I'll show you guys what I mean by it's been unlocked real quick. As you can see, it's loading still. 
but if I actually click Shift F5, then I can see the FPS in the top left corner of the screen, and right now it's at about 200. Now if you don't have that activated, it will automatically get locked at 60. Now also for the client settings, you might want to adjust it just so that you have the max FPS at your PC can actually go to. So if you go to edit, then you want to put it in right here. Right now mine is at 540, but it should probably be at like 200. So I can consistently have it. And whatever your PC can max go to, then you can just add that there and then go ahead and click save. And then you want to of course have it in the Roblox file. But that is for the FPS unlocker. So the second thing you can actually do, as you can see on this game, you just want to go ahead and click settings right here. You want to go over to settings and you want to turn down the graphics quality down to zero. So if you turn it all the way to the bottom, then it will make your FPS go up by a lot, but it will bring down the quality of the graphics. So as you can see, if I go here and I turn it all the way up, then the graphics change on Roblox and it makes it look. Personally, I think it looks nicer if I have it turned all the way up, but if you have it turned all the way down, you will get more FPS so you can go ahead and do that if you want to, depending on how much you care about the visuals of the game. And finally, there's one more thing that you can do that I think you should do. Go ahead and search for Task Manager and go ahead and open it. So all of this doesn't really matter. It's just a bunch of random stuff. There should be an option that says Startup right here. So go ahead and find it and click on it. And once you click on it, you'll see all the all the apps that start up when you open your PC. So you just want to go through and turn off or turn on any of them that you want. You normally want as many of them disabled as you can. So like this one, I don't need that enabled or started up when I start my PC so I can go ahead and disable it. You can just go through and just turn off any of them that you don't need. As you can see, I don't need Microsoft OneDrive. Like there's a lot of things that you probably have enabled in here that you don't need. So just go through and disable any of them that you don't need. And then once you've done that, you should have a good amount of FPS on Roblox. So I hope that's enough for this video. Comment below if you have any queries. If you find this video helpful, then consider subscribing and giving this a big thumbs up. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.